Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all are doing well. I just ended my Hilton Tokyo video and now we're starting a new video. I am in my room at the Hilton Tokyo checking out at 3 p.m. because they gave me late checkout. I definitely check my review of this hotel. This hotel is great, spoiler alert, but I am headed to Tokyo Disney. Of course, I have to go. But this is a hotel that I have never ever stayed in before always wanted to. When I decided this trip, I just wanted to, you know, shell out the money and stay at this hotel. So let's hop in a cab and head to our next destination. go into this absolutely beautiful room. I just threw my room on the floor. Pause, please. Okay, this room is very warm. <laughs> it is so beautiful though, I have to show you. All right, so here is the entrance. We have this absolutely insanely gorgeous vanity right here. Just this entire room just exudes like oh my god look at that lighting i'm just freaking out right now don't mind me but this beautiful vanity right here it looks like something out of mary poppins and it has tvh there for tokyo disneyland hotel insane then we have this gorgeous mirror here but first let's go into the bathroom area let me take off my shoes here is the vanity area of the bathroom because there's another vanity area this is all the amenity kits right here. You know I will be taking this stuff home with me. Face and hand soap right here. These drawers right here. There's a hairbrush. There is, um, what's it called? I don't even know, a hair dryer right here. A little step stool for kids with the logo. So beautiful. Even the little garbage can is gorgeous. Then we have here the toilet room right here with bidet, of course. And then, let's go fish right here. We have a shower room or a wet room. This is like a princess shower room. It's so pretty. Even, okay, even the little towel for your feet when you get out of the shower it has the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel insignia on it. All the towels do, amazing. All right, so outside the bathroom, here is the closet. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh, we've got some slippers here. Very cute, Mickey has like, Mickey has like a little jaunty hat here. He kind of looks a little fake Mickey, but cute extra pillows got a coffee station right here a tea really a uh, kettle ice bucket these beautiful cups we've also got some beauty and the beast like themed images here Lumiere, cogsworth very beautiful but this is not a beauty and the beast room of course then this gorgeous room right here I am just obsessed with how cute it is. Like it just, it just exudes like classic, like Victorian era kind of Disney. Look at that right there. Just so cute. I mean, all I can think of is how cute this room is. It just goes so perfectly with the theme of Tokyo Disneyland. It just feels very Disneyland to me. The Victorian theme here. Oh my gosh, the wardrobe. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. Then, oh, I did notice. Let's open one of these up. We have our pajamas here, which I will absolutely be wearing to bed today. I love that. And then these little bags right here. We will check what these are in just a second. But I, one of the only rooms with a few was the one with a trundle bed here. So this room can probably comfortably sleep like three or like two adults, two kids. But this is beautiful, this little couch area right here. This did make the room a little bit more expensive. 
but then we have these two little twin beds here which are so gorgeous actually i lied there is a trundle bed under this bed so i want to say it could fit four adults maybe three adults and two kids but i'm not surprised there's a trundle bed because when i stayed with my friends at the disney ambassador hotel first time i was here there was a trundle bed that i slept on and it was pretty comfortable so i'm surprised there is a trundle bed there it is under the bed closest to the window over here and then i don't know if you are ready for this view because this view is so adorable i am on the fourth floor 4109 so i will show you can we hear a little commotion for the view and i don't know if you can hear but you can hear the park music right now it's just absolutely amazing there was a monorail by monorail it's just a fantastic view you can see tokyo disneyland tokyo disney sea we're not higher up over there i think there's about nine floors so i assume they have a better view into the park but honestly i do not care this view is just like absolutely magical let me zoom in a little bit all right that's zoomed in just a little bit but you can see oh one second my luggage is here all right they just brought me my luggage but back to the view i think that is the beast castle right there and i want to say behind it is the hilton tokyo bay not totally sure maybe not but i know that it's kind of like over there and you can see space mountain a little a little sliver of space mountain over there too but yeah it's just an incredible look at that view it's just absolutely incredible i'm so happy to be here this room costs a lot of money but i'm extremely happy to be here okay so wait 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 right next to the pajamas was this kind of package here it is a full-on reusable bag this is tokyo disneyland hotel I don't know if these are free. I hope they're free. I hope I don't get charged a lot of money for taking them, but I'm definitely going to take this bag because it is adorable and I want it. And I feel like this like exclusive reusable bag you'd definitely use quite a bit. I wonder if I sell them at the uh, shop downstairs. We'll have to see, but this is so cute. I love it. Okay, so now that I'm checked in, I feel like I should show you what they gave me at the check-in desk, uh, including happy entry and the uh, the monorail ticket, because this is actually the final day, apparently, according to the Tokyo Disney website, the final day that they are also giving the monorail passes with the hotel room is today, which is March 31st. So they gave me a two-day monorail pass that you can see here, which will be great because tomorrow I'm staying at the Hilton Tokyo Bay, so this will be nice to have a free monorail pass for that. Uh, and it's valid for unlimited trips, it says on the Disney Resort line for consecutive dates. I don't think I'll need to take it today, uh, but tomorrow to the Hilton Tokyo Bay, that will be lovely. This is the room key for the room. I will say it's a bit anticlimactic. I wish it was prettier for the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. It's just a white room key with a, with gold lettering. It's not great. I was expecting more Disney. What else? Oh, happy entry. Let me show you that. So this is sort of the receipt they gave me. This is for happy entry for tomorrow for the Tokyo Disneyland Park. And what happy entry is, so if you don't know, happy entry is you, where you enter the park 15 minutes before other guests. And that might not seem like a big deal, but for Tokyo Disneyland, especially this weekend, which is part of like a spring break type weekend, it's cherry blossom season, it's a busy time. That is gonna mean a lot tomorrow, especially with Beauty and the Beast ride, which I would love to get a Disney Premier Access or Fast Pass, paid Fast Pass, before the park opens to everybody else for that so I can ride it more than once because if you'll notice from last trip, if you watch the videos, I only got to ride it once because it was closed for some of the time that I was in Tokyo Disney. So hopefully I'll be able to ride it at least twice tomorrow, which happy entry will help which Happy Entry will really help me with. Um, it also says on the Happy Entry thing, because I noticed on my last trip that they were letting people in a lot earlier than it says the parks open, because the parks technically open at nine. But last trip, they were letting people in starting around 8.15. This Happy Entry Pass says that I can get in starting at 8 a.m., which is pretty important. Um, so yeah, oh, also important to note with the Happy Entry is that this is only valid for Tokyo Disneyland. You cannot stay at the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel and have happy entry to Tokyo Disney Sea. You can only have happy entry to Tokyo Disney Sea if you're staying at the Disney Ambassador Hotel or the Miracosta, which is in Tokyo Disney Sea. So that is really important to note. I feel like people would just pick this hotel and think they could get in early to either park, and that is not true. So that is something very important to know. So yeah, I think now it's time to stop staring at this beautiful view and actually get into the park. So I'm gonna do a separate vlog in the park tonight. I have a reservation for something I've never done before. I'm very excited. This trip is also gonna be just about doing a couple things I've never done before. Tonight, I'm doing something I've never done. Two things, actually. 
actually, I think I've never done. Um, and also not even including staying at this hotel. I'm rambling so much. But yeah, I'll have a separate vlog. I'll come back, show you the night view of this just incredible view. It's just perfect. And then we'll do happy entry tomorrow to the park and see how that goes. And yeah, I'm just so happy to be here. Also, one more thing is that I bought a park ticket at the front desk for tomorrow. And these are actually few and far between now because the ticket booths at the park gates are closed and the ticket center that used to be at Expiari is closed as well. So you have to really buy a ticket online or at a convenience store or something like that. These really don't exist anymore except for the hotel where you're guaranteed entry even if the park is sold out. You're a guaranteed entry into the park. So I bought the ticket for tomorrow. We have Goofy here. It says one day passport and I'll be able to scan this pretty easily into my app for tomorrow to get the Disney Premier Access and any standby passes that they're requiring for tomorrow. Don't think I'm going to get any Premier Access or standby today because it's like almost 5 p.m. but I have my ticket that I bought online. So that will be Sorry, Mount Prometheus is going off. I can also see uh, Tokyo Disney Sea from here, which is just crazy and makes me so happy. And I'm just obsessed with this view. Anyways, so that's something important to note is that uh, they also, it's very easy to buy your park ticket. It was the desk next to the check-in desk. Super easy to buy the park ticket. Um, so that's great. So I'll have a separate vlog going into the park and then I will see you for this video tonight when I come back from uh, Tokyo Disneyland. You know what? I lied. Before we go into the park, let's go downstairs and look at the shops and things like that that are in this hotel and check out the lobby and just the vibes here because it's just such a gorgeous hotel and it feels so fancy. Oh, I should talk about the cost. Hold on. So let's talk price. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This hotel costs a lot of money. Not as much as the hotel will be staying in an upcoming video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But I will pop the price that I paid for one night in this hotel here. Now it is a park view room. The view is absolutely amazing. Uh, the happy 15 entry, of course, the guaranteed park admission, all that kind of stuff is fantastic. But as someone who doesn't really pay for hotels because of points and miles, this was a hard pillow to swallow. Editing Danielle here. Did I say hard pillow to swallow? What was going on there? Anyways, back to the video. But I've always wanted to stay here. So I decided just to, you know, bite the bullet and spend that money and stay at this hotel for one night. And it is beautiful and I can't get over looking at this gorgeous view. So let's head downstairs and check out the shops a little bit before we head into the park for tonight. And again, that's going to be a separate vlog. So make sure you watch that. It's kind of strange and creepy that there are no windows in this hallway and that they're so like small these hallways it kind of feels like you're stuck in a victorian dollhouse horror film so that i guess i'll say that's a negative for this hotel it's a little creepy but that it's about 11 30 at night and they turned off the lights and the music to the park so it's cool to see this because you don't really see it in other places but you can see the front gate light is kind of on there where it says Tokyo Disneyland but the World Bazaar lights aren't on and the monorail isn't running anymore but the light on the platform is on so it's interesting to see this you like my pajamas <laughs> I'm back in the room. It is so nice to just walk across the threshold to go to my hotel instead of jumping on the monorail, even though the Hilton Tokyo Bay, which I usually stay out, is not that far. Um, but it's nice to just come here in my beautiful little Victorian themed room. I will say I was thinking about it and I think this room is like if the Crystal Palace had a hotel attached to it, but also had like vibes of definitely the World Bazaar, Main Street USA, all those kind of vibes just put together in a hotel. 
I would say, is this place. Uh, it's so beautiful and so lovely. And I just love exploring new things and finding new things like the Mickeys that are in the wallpaper over here, which I just noticed. See how adorable it is. And this bed I was sitting on, it's pretty comfortable. Um, so I'm very excited to sleep here tonight. And I will be doing Happy 15, the early entry tomorrow. And hopefully we'll be riding Beauty and the Beast at least twice. But yeah, I'm really happy to be here, even though it's expensive, which I keep saying, to try this hotel out. So yeah, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. No big deal, just laying in bed and that's Cinderella's castle right there. Amazing. Good morning. They turned on the music and these fountains right at six o'clock in the morning on the dot. Nobody's in line yet for the gates. I think the monorail hasn't started working yet, but it'll be interesting to see when people get in line for the gates. I love being here so early. A couple things to note. There is a security guard in there like cleaning the poles. I don't think I've ever seen that ever in American Park. They're cleaning everything. Like I see people cleaning every single spot. The monorail came and nobody got off except for cleaners that were cleaning the, uh, what is it, the station. So I am so, and now it's out of focus. The monorail came and nobody got off except for cleaners that were like cleaning the gates to the station. And if you can see over here, this is, it's not focusing, but if you can see over here, that is a security line. People are getting ready to go through security to go wait for the park to open in the area that they are cleaning over near the gates. Uh, and you can see some workers over there. So cool to see this this early in the morning, not have to wait in the cold because it's about 50 degrees outside, but it's just so gorgeous. And I'm so excited to go to work later. I think I'll head down there around 7.45 um, because the Happy 15 is letting people in at eight o'clock. So I'm gonna try to get there like 15 minutes early to be a little bit early in terms of the people staying at the hotel. All right, about to take a shower. I will say I wasn't expecting the toiletries to all be in kind of big generic dispensers, which is fine. I mean, I'm not gonna wash my hair today, but just take a quick body shower, but I was surprised at that. Little step stool here to take a shower. Let's try to turn it on and see what happens. Oh God, it's up there. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna take a shower. I'll see you in a bit. All right, now that I figured out the shower and took a shower, my thoughts on the shower. Um, the overhead, the rainfall shower head is fine, not the greatest water pressure. The handheld is definitely where it's at. Um, there's different options to change it, which was nice. And this one right here, so this is the rainfall one. This is to turn the whole thing actually on. So switch between the rainfall and the handheld here. And then that's for the temperature at the bottom. So yeah, the body wash smells. Okay, not like super amazing, but fine. And I love that the light from the window can come through here, but it's frosted so you can't really see anything. So it's nice. I would give the shower like four out of five. All right, it's always the does Danielle look ridiculous or is she headed to a Disney park? And I think it's a mix of both. Let's go. in the room. I wanted to wrap up a few thoughts on the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. I really truly think that people don't realize how truly amazing the Happy 15 is. It doesn't sound like a lot. It sounds like, oh, you're just getting in 15 minutes early. But here's the thing, you are getting in 15 minutes early than the people that got to the park at like six o'clock in the morning to wait outside the gates because that's what they do here. So say you woke up at like five o'clock in the morning wherever you live and took the train out here. And I think the train only starts working at five o'clock in the morning in Tokyo. Like that amount of sunk time 
you are not having to deal with that at all because you are just rolling out of your hotel at like 7.45, going in the line and getting in before other people. I did have an issue with my phone. It would not take one of my credit cards for the Premier Access when I was walking to Beauty and the Beast. Luckily, I'm a points and miles girl, so I have more than one credit card. Uh, so I had another one, but I still got that Premier Access for 9.20 to 10.20 about three or four minutes before the park opened to the general public. So I still got that before I'm sure it sold out automatically with all the people trying to get to it. So that was essential too. So yeah, this hotel is really expensive. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. But if you're not just like a single person and you have a family and this room has these two beds, trundle bed below this one and the kind of alcove bed over here. So it's not, that bad. Maybe if you're coming with friends and you split it among friends, it's pretty good. As a points and miles person, it feels like a lot, especially when I'm going to a hotel today. I'm going to stay up with points for free and I'm going to get hors d'oeuvres in the lounge tonight and free breakfast tomorrow. So that's kind of interesting to, to juxtapose that kind of stuff given this very fancy, but very expensive hotel where I'm not kind of getting those benefits. I am getting the happy 15, but I'm not getting that kind of benefit. I definitely think this is kind of like a once in a lifetime bucket list thing that I really wanted to do. And I'm really happy I did it because it's so gorgeous. I think if you are gonna stay here, you wanna get like a park for your room to have the whole experience. You want a room that's kind of Victorian themed instead of like one of the character rooms, unless that's you or your family's bag, unless you're really into like Alice in Wonderland or something like that. But I definitely think this is the way to do it, to have the Victorian-esque room, to have the view of the park. It's just been fantastic. I mean, it's such a gorgeous view and the fact that I could see the castle when I was laying in bed yesterday was absolutely fantastic. So yeah, that's been my review of the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. I'm actually gonna go downstairs and ask them to move my luggage to the Hilton Tokyo Bay because according to the website, they will do that for you. So that's awesome to not have to deal with my luggage and all that kind of stuff to bring to the hotel. So yeah, that's been my stay here at the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. Make sure that you stay tuned because I'll tell you now, I'm going to be staying at the Hotel Miracosta, the only hotel inside, completely inside a Disney park in the world. And that has definitely been a bucket list item of mine. You're gonna freak when you see the view. I'm sure I will freak when I see the view, but I definitely shelled out for that one. So make sure you stay tuned and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.